matter what planet, no matter what galaxy, they always look up in wonder. Some fall to their knees and worship. Others hide behind walls and towers. But the thing they do best is beg for mercy. Welcome to Lots of Law. Today I give to you Aurelian Sol, the Star Forger. Enjoy. Aurelian Sol once graced the vast emptiness of the cosmos with celestial wonders of his own devising. Now he's forced to wield his awesome power at the behest of a spacefaring emperor that tricked him into servitude. Desiring a return to his star forging ways, Aurelian Sol will drag the very stars from the sky if he must in order to regain his freedom. The appearance of a common often portends a period of unheaval and unrest. Under the auspices of such fiery harbingers, it is said that new empires rise, old civilizations fall, and even the stars themselves may tumble from the sky. This theory merely scratched the surface of a far more bizarre truth. The comet's radiant cloaks are cosmic beings of unformidable power. The being now known as Aurelian Sol was already ancient by the time stellar debris first coalesced into the world. Born the first breath of creation, he roamed the vast nothingness, seeking to fill a canvas of incalculable breath with marvels whose twinkling specter brought him a considerable delight and pride. A celestial dragon is an exotic creature, and as such, Aurelian Sol seldom encountered any equals. As more forms of life emerged to fill the universe, a multitude of primitive eyes gazed up and beheld his work with wonder and breathless pondering. Flattered by the audience of countless worlds, he became fascinated by the fledgling civilizations who crafted amusingly self-centered philosophies on the nature of his stars. Desiring a deeper connection with one of the few races he deemed worthy, the cosmic dragon selected the most ambitious species to grace with his presence. These chosen few sought to unravel the secret of the universe and had already expanded beyond their home planet. Many verses were composed about the day the Star Forger descended to a tiny world and announced his presence to the Tagonians. An immense storm of stars filled the skies and twisted into a massive form as marvelous as it was terrifying. Cosmic wonders swirled and twinkled throughout the creature's body. New stars shone brightly and constellation rearranged at his whim. Appropriately armed by their luminous power, the Tagonian tiled the dragon, Aurelian Sol, and presented him with a gift as a token of respect, a splendorous crown of star gems which he promptly donned. Before long, though, Bottom drew Aurelian Sol back to his work in the fertile vastness of space. However, the further from the reach of that tiny world he traveled, the more he felt the grasping at his very essence, pulling him off his path, directing him elsewhere. He could hear voices shouting, commanding, from across the cosmic expanse. The gift he received was no gift at all, it seemed. Outraged, he fought these controlling impulses and attempted to break his bond by force, only to discover that for each attack against his newfound masters, one of his stars vanished forever from the firmament. A powerful magic now yoked Aurelian Sol, forcing him to wield his power exclusively for Mount Tarkon's benefit. He battled chitinous beasts that tore at the fabric of this universe. He clashed with other cosmic entities, some of which he had known since the dawn of time. For millennia he fought Tarkon's wars, crushed any threat to its dominance, and helped it forge a star-spanning empire. All of these tasks were a waste of his supreme talent. After all, it was he who birthed light into the universe. Why must he pander to such low beings? 
As his past glory slowly vanished from the sentinel realm for lack of maintenance, Aurelian Soul resigned himself to never again bask in the warmth of a freshly ignited star. Then, he felt it a weakening in his unwilling pact. The voices from the crown grew sporadic, clashing, arguing with each other, while some fell ominously silent. An unknown catastrophe he could not fathom had thrown off the balance of those who bound him. There was scattered and distracted. Hope crept into his heart. Driven by the tantalizing possibility of independent freedom, Aurelian Sol arrived at the world where it all began, Rune Terra. It is here the balance will finally tip in his favor, and with it civilizations across the stars shall bear witness to his rebellion and again play audience to his might. All will learn what fate befalls those who strive to steal for themselves the power of a cosmic dragon. Hello Summoners, thanks for watching this episode of Lots of Lore. If you want to see part 2 of Aurelian Soul's Lore, Twin Dawn, please tell me in the comments. Also, my theory on he has returned was pretty accurate. Please share this around to show people the awesome lore and to show them where I am. And now, roll the outro. Well met Summoners, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Tell me in the comments what I can do better. If you want to help my channel grow, share it with your friends and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks for watching.